Here's the field for the second race. Number one, Fox Valley Sting, owned by Bo and Vicki DeLong, Clinton, Wisconsin. Larry Finn trains Pat DeLong in the bike. Two is Illegal Smile, owned by Lynn Jones of Lexington, Kentucky. Irvin Miller trains Andy Miller Drive. Three, The Insider, owned by Cario Stable, Huntington Beach, California. Irvin Miller trains with Ryan Anderson. Four, Fox Valley Select, owned by Phil Langley, Robert Silberberg, and Marshall Field, Illinois, and Michigan. Jim Eaton trains Dale Heitman up. Five Expressway, owned by John Larson of Denmark, Wisconsin. Bud Larson, the trainer with Laverne Hostetler. Six GA's Bull J, owned by Alan and Jackie Bowen, by Gary and Jeanette Shields of Mount Sterling. Alan Bowen, the trainer, with Neil Coleman. Seven Collins Carney, owned by Larry Binkley and Michelle Whitlock of Charleston. Binkley trains and drives. Eight Lord Phoenix of Scratch. Nine Roadhawk, owned by Jim Geis of Chicago. Irvin Miller of Springfield. Miller trains. Eric Ledford drives. And ten, my dad's the best, a scratch. Collins Carney, the other winner, county fair winner three times. From seven, five join that trio of winners. They're at the post. The gate is rolling. Here they come. Off and pacing Roadhoff from the outside quickly powers across the racetrack, flashes over toward the inside for Ledford as they drive toward the turn. Getting out second is Illegal Smile. Third to the inside, Fox Valley Sting. Away fourth, middle of the racetrack now as they swing around the turn is Expressway. They're driving toward the quarter. Roadhoff has made the top. He's to the inside, leads it by a length and a half. Illegal Smile second, Fox Valley Sting third. Racing fourth against the inside is the insider. Racing five, Expressway. Six behind him, GA's Bull J. Getting out seven is Cullen's Carney. Trailing that field of pacers early is Fox Valley Select as they sweep past the quarter. They're there, 27-1. Rolling as they hit the back stretch, and there goes Illegal Smile to the front for Andy Miller. He takes command as they enter the back stretch. Now stuck at picking up cover down the backside is Roadhoff. Racing third behind that pair down the backside is Fox Valley Sting. Fourth as they head toward the half-mile marker is the insider with Ryan Anderson. Behind him, Expressway is five, six moving on the outside. As they race to the half comes Cullen's Carney. Seven past that juncture is GA's Bull J. The trailer is Fox Valley Select off a 56-3 half. They're past the draw gate into the upper turn, and the leader is Illegal Smile Miller on top with him by a length on the outside. Pressure about to be applied by Cullen's Carney. Here he comes racing past Pacers with six moments to go. Now he's second on the outside. He's just a neck off the lead. That's Cullen's Carney pulling his way up on the outside for Binkley. Behind him with pace, here comes G.A.'s Bull J. He's positioned fourth on the outside and soon to sweep way wide as they reach the top of the lane, the insider. Front six in a battle. Two-year-old Pacers coming from everywhere on the lane. Far outside, G.A.'s Bull J has a lot of pace. On the inside, underdrive, illegal smile. Now getting shook loose. Here comes Roadhoff. Roadhoff between them. Here comes Fox Valley Sting. A battle of the wire. Fox Valley Sting flying. Fox Valley Sting wins it. It'll be a photo, but it appeared to be Fox Valley Sting with that three wide slicing move by Pat DeLong. Then it'll be Roadhoff. Then it'll be illegal smile. Three horse photo finish. 156. That's. Illinois harness racing well as almost dominant here at the Illinois Fair one of the good ones racing this year in that stable is the seven time winner about to make his way into the winter circle here at the Illinois State Fair from Clinton Wisconsin owned by William and Vicki DeLong trained by Larry Finn capably driven Slicing to the middle of the racetrack to pick up that next win by Pat DeLong. Here's Fox Valley Sting. You might wonder what goes through a driver's mind when he was buried to the inside as Pat was in this stretch drive, knowing you had more horse than anybody in the race, but knowing also that you desperately needed room to open on the inside. So at the last instant, when he saw that was not going to happen, he made a three-wide move and had it measured <laughs> just exactly right. Presentation now of the race trophy, the blanket, the Isoba trophy, to the winning connection of Fox Valley Sting, bred obviously by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman. I believe that's uh, winner number five, number six, number six in two days. Five yesterday, one already today. 
for Doc and Pat Walker's Fox Valley Standard Bread. A sportsmaster from the Tyler B. Mother fall in the air. And uh, now in just a moment, we'll visit trackside with young Pat DeLong. Ed Teefee. Thank now you, Carl. You, with me here in the winner's circle, 18-year-old Pat DeLong, who just drove his first race here at the Illinois State Fair. As you pointed out, Pat's uh, family hails from Clinton, Wisconsin, raced a large stable of Illinois bred through the Illinois County Fairs. And Pat's uh, been driving a lot this summer. Pat, is this your first summer driving? Uh, no, this is my, actually my second. Second summer, first start here ever at the Illinois State Fair? Yeah. Still in high school, Pat? Uh, nope, graduated last June. What's your future plan? Uh, go to college. Going to college? Where are you going to go? You know where you're going to go yet? Uh, UW-Whitewater. Okay, Pat DeLong, just 18 years old, first drive ever here at the Illinois State Fair, and he wins for the seventh straight time with Fox Valley Sting in 156. Congratulations to 18-year-old Pat DeLong. <laughs> 